I'm Jason UFC, and today we have a story about UFC middleweight contender Hamza Chemaev's calls for a UFC light heavyweight championship match versus Alex Pereira, saying, let me finish him. What? Undefeated middleweight contender Hamza Chemaev has called for another divisional move in the form of a light heavyweight title fight with newly minted champ light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira urging UFC CEO Dana White to book a bout between the two vowing to quote finish Alex Pereira okay let me see uh Hamza Chemaev the current number Eighth ranked middleweight contender co headlined UFC 294 in October in Abu Dhabi versus um, Kamal Usman, where he won a majority decision. A majority decision is when one judge, I believe, gave it a um, a tie. Wasn't it a tie, I think? One judge gave it a tie, and then two judges scored it for Hamza Chemaev. I believe that's what a majority decision is. As for Alex Pereira, the former undisputed middleweight champion, headlined UFC 295 in New York City, Madison Square Garden, winning uh, the undisputed light heavyweight championship via a second round was it a knockout or was it a TKO? I think it was a TKO because it was stopped, right? It was a, f- a second round TKO over, f- over former uh, UFC light heavyweight champion Yuri Pahowska. Okay. In the immediate aftermath of his title eliminator win over ex champion Kamal Usman in October, um, Hamza Chemaev had called for a championship fight at the middleweight limit against Sean Stricken. However, a hand ligament injury, I think he had a torn ligament in his hand, um, will see Hamza Chemaev sidelined for some time. That's a, like how, how long is he sidelined for? And as of a result, the promotion, UFC has booked an undisputed title fight between uh, Drakis Duplessis and Sean Strickland at UFC 297 in January in Canada, Toronto, Canada. Um, Hamza Chamaev calls for a fight with Alex Pereira, appearing to now um, switch focus on yet another division climb amid his welterweight um, weight well, to wait, wait, cut woes back in September of last year, which saw a planned fight between Hamza Chamaev and Nate Diaz canceled. Hamza Chamaev has vowed to, quote, finish Alex Pereira in a future title fight, urging UFC boss Dana White to book a bout. This is what, um, this is what Hamza Chamaev said on his uh, Twitter account. He put a photo of him with um, Pereira, adding Dana White saying, let me finish him oh wow okay yeah i think that's the entire story that's this is this is interesting i mean i mean the first question would be um how is how is hamza chamaev's hand i know he after the fight with kamal uzman he was saying something about it he thought he broke his hand it came out a few weeks later i'm an mma casual so i don't follow everything i don't remember everything but i believe they said he had a tore ligament in his hand, so we don't know how long he's going to be out for, right? So that could take some time. Hamza Chemaev hasn't been the most active fighter after his, you know, jump onto the scene. He only fought once this year. He fought twice last year. He fought Gilbert Burns in a really, really good fight. And then he fought Kevin Holland in a one-round fight. And But then the fight versus Kamal Usman, that was a three-round fight, a majority decision, um, a victory. You know, Kamal Usman being a welterweight had to move up to the middleweight division on 10 days' notice. And um, Hamza Chemaev didn't run through him. And that's why he basically did not get the title shot versus Sean Strick. And I also think it was the hand injury more than the performance for the most part. I, you know, who knows? I really actually, I don't know. Because when, um, when, when the UFC ranked Hamza Chemaev, he was ranked number eight, right? In, in the middleweight division. Now, maybe if he goes in there and finishes Kamar Uzman, he gets ranked a little bit higher. Maybe if he doesn't have this hand injury, they book a fight with him and Sean Strickland. But UFC booked the fight two months after uh, 
the Kamal Uz the yeah Kamal Usman Hamza Chamayer fight and Drakus Duplessis is ready to go right Drakus Duplessis versus Sean Stricken will happen in January so we have that fight but then Alex Pereira just defeated um, Yuri Pahowska in no what was that last week in November right so Alex Pereira is gonna probably take a few time few um, months off you would imagine. A lot of fighters obviously are now trying to angle, trying to get on that UFC 300 fight. I'm pretty sure. I don't, like I said, I'm an MMA casual, so I don't follow every single thing that happens in the sport every single day. But I really doubt Jamal Hill will be ready for UFC 300. I would not be surprised if Pereira fights on UFC 300. And with uh, Chamayev throwing his name out there, this, this is... It's kind of interesting, you know, when Pereira won the belt, the first name he called out was a middleweight. He didn't call out any of the light heavyweights. He called out Alex, he called out Israel, Israel Adesanya, who, you know, said he's not fighting until 2027. So Pereira's um, fight card is pretty free, right? Jamal Hill is not going to be able to fight him probably until maybe the summer, maybe even September of next year. So the question is, who will be Alex Pereira's next opponent? Will the UFC, you know, like the idea of someone like Hamza Chamayev going up to the light heavyweight division? Has he ever fought in the light heavyweight division and fighting uh, Pereira? You know, I'm pretty sure Pereira would accept the fight, right? So, you know, and what are the other options for um, Pereira in the UFC light heavyweight championship match i know uh um jan blakovich was kind of angry that he was being overlooked um so there's that but for the most part i i would be shocked i gotta be honest i would be really really shocked if the ufc made <laughs> hamza chamayev versus alex Pereira. but you know in, in, in this day and age it's all about it's you know performance is one thing but it's usually about timing if if the timing works out if uh um Chamayev's torn ligament in his hand works out where he could be ready for a fight with Pereira. Uh, like I said, I would still be shocked if um, Hamza Chamayev gets the championship fight versus Pereira. But this is the first time we've heard this story, right? So it, there's something there. There's something there. We got to see the reactions from Alex Pereira. I'm pretty sure Alex Pereira rigs up. And now we have to see the reaction from Dana White, right? This is this would be a big fight for both of them, right? This would be a big fight for both of them. Obviously, I would lean towards uh, Pereira. I lean towards Drekas Duplessis defeating Hamza Chamayev in the middleweight division. So I would lean towards um, Pereira if this fight was to happen. But like I said, right now, obviously, it's very unlikely because we have to hear about Hamza Chamayev's um, torn ligament in his hand. But after that, we'll see. There's a lot of pieces that got to move around in the next few months. Obviously, with UFC 300 coming up, there's there's going to be a lot of fights made. But the next few weeks, we're going to get a few more um, answers to those questions, how's uh, Chamayev's hand doing, what happens with Drekas Duplessis and Sean Strickland. Brendan Allen just won his fight. He called a Hamza Chamayev. So there's a lot of pieces moving. But let me know your opinion of this story. Who do you think is going to, who, who do you think would win this fight? I personally would go with uh, Alex Pereira. But let me know your opinion of this story. But like I said, I'm an MMA casual, so what the hell do I know? I'm Jason, UFC. Today we had a story about UFC middleweight contender. Hamza Chamayev calls for a UFC light heavyweight championship fight versus Alex Pereira, vowing to let me finish him. Okay? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the $1 donation button. And please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.